What is AI alignment? AI alignment concerns the task of making sure that artificially intelligent systems behave in a way that is conducive to human morality and human well-being. The problem of AI alignment arises from what is called the orthogonality thesis. First put forward by Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom, this is the idea that intelligence and goals can exist in any combination. In other words, it means that just because an AI is as intelligent as a human, that doesn't mean we should assume that it will think or behave the same way, follow the same rules, or act to achieve the same ends. We're used to the science fiction trope, seen in movies like Terminator, where AI becomes self-aware before deciding to take over the Earth and kill all the humans. Now, these depictions probably do not represent how an actual AI-related disaster would unfold, because they anthropomorphize the AI, assuming it would behave like a human, when an actual AI would probably behave quite strangely. One of the most famous things to come out of AI alignment is the paperclip maximizer thought experiment. First dreamed up by AI theorist Eliezer Yudkowsky, before being elaborated and popularized by Nick Bostrom, this thought experiment attempts to show us how AI can pose a danger to us even if its goals seem wholly banal. Bostrom asks us to imagine an AI whose sole task is to make as many paperclips as possible. We might think that with such an innocuous goal, it would be impossible for the AI to get up to any mischief. However, imagine the AI realized that it could make a lot more paperclips by waging nuclear war to obtain additional resources, for example. The AI might even develop nanotechnology that would allow it to turn the entire universe into paperclips. Probably not something we'd be pleased about. You know, because we'd all be dead. Should we be worried about AI alignment? Some critics, like philosopher of mind Daniel Dennett and psychologist Steven Pinker, think that fears about dangerous AI are overblown, and that we shouldn't spend too much time dwelling on such hypothetical scenarios. On the other hand, figures such as the neuroscientist Sam Harris and the late physicist Stephen Hawking think that we risk destroying the human race by means of AI if we don't take precautionary measures as soon as possible. Sam Harris compares the hypothetical advent of dangerous AI to some kind of alien race that may or may not arrive on Earth at some point in the next century. So, what could we do about the prospect of an out-of-control artificial intelligence? People often like to cite writer Isaac Asimov's famous Three Laws of Robotics as a basis for reigning in AI. The three rules state, one, a robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. And three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Now, these laws suffer from a number of pitfalls including the definitions of human and robot, the assumption that a robot knows what all the consequences of his actions might be, and the potential requirement for robots to incessantly roam the earth trying to cure all human ills. Some have advocated putting the AI in a box, that is, sealing the AI in some kind of enclosure that allows us to communicate with it but does not allow it to carry out actions in the outside world. The major flaw with this approach is the possibility that the AI will convince someone to let it out. A human being is not a perfectly secure system, and so an extremely intelligent AI ought to be able to find some way to hack a human mind and use its influence to get itself out of the box. Nick Bostrom has suggested creating a particular kind of AI that he calls an oracle. This AI would only be able to answer questions, and would not be able to form goals or take actions in the real world. Some potential downsides of this design are that the AI might lie to us, 
or it might think that our questions are too vague for it to be able to answer. We might even need to build multiple oracles and then compare their responses to see if they're giving us the correct answers. Another thing we could do is to use the AI's own knowledge and intelligence to get it to constrain itself. For example, we could tell the AI to behave in the way that it thinks the majority of humans would ideally want it to behave, or something along those lines. One thing's for sure, AI alignment is an area of research that remains embryonic. A great deal of deep thought and hard work will be required to figure out how best to constrain artificial intelligence. And the time to complete that work could be running out fast. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment and consider donating to our Patreon so we can continue to help you learn about what's in store for all of us in the future.